Hi everyone, welcome to a new video of the project Mindstream and Sexual and Gender Related Violence Sensibilities into University Courses through Photo Voice Experiences. And in this video, I'm going to talk to you about why we think that Photo Voice is a good instrument to work uh, or to address sexual gender related violence. This presentation has been developed by me, Aloe Cubero, a PhD fellow of the, de of the pedagogy department at the Revere Virgili University, and my colleague, Barbara Biglia, a professor from the same university and the same department. So the first thing that we have to uh, think about is that uh, sexual and related violence is an extremely complex social uh, problem, which involves many different factors. So uh, we uh, need methodologies in which we can work, we can do a collaborative work uh, where the problem can be approached from a community perspective. Sometimes when we think about gender-related violence, we think uh, in the stereotypical view of a woman being physically abused in the framework of a sex affective relationship. But gender-related violence uh, goes uh, beyond uh, that, and we need to analyze the different typologies of violence uh, that this kind of violence has. So from, uh, from Photo Voice, we can do this collaborative work and we can analyze the different typologies of violence and how these violence are specific in different contexts. Another thing that we have to think about uh, is that sometimes when we are doing a training uh, about gender-related violence, it's just a theoretical training. And that's a problem because we know, we already know that violence is not eliminated just by a theoretical learning. We need more critical and feminist pedagogies in which we can uh, connect the spe our experience uh, with theory and how, for example, gender and violence impact in our daily lives. Uh, it's and these kind of, of pedagogies are going to have an impact in the, way we, in the way the learning is done. For example, more deep, uh, more practical. So we have to go beyond the theoretical uh, trainings. Uh, well, uh, younger generations are breaking uh, more and more uh, the waiting with we leave gender mandates and roles, but they are still deep road in our societies. So, uh, photo voice challenge uh, in some ways that mm, the power dynamics uh, of gender uh, and it recognize a participant's agency. We have those roles uh, interiorized in ourselves, but we also have the agency to break them. And through Photo Voice, we can do that. Uh, and bringing down also stereotypical and hegemonic views of gender roles. But it's necessary to go beyond gender and analyze another axis of oppressions, for example, race, sexuality, class, age, etc. We need to analyze more deeply how we experience violence and how we can respond to violence. And it's not the same, a white a woman, middle class, responding maybe to a situation of violence that another person uh, with inter uh, with who lives uh, or who experience uh, different conditions of oppression. So through photo voice, we can go uh, more, uh, we can go deeper and analyze uh, how these different categories, these different dimensions of, of oppression are interconnected uh, between them. Another important thing that we have to acknowledge is that sometimes it's difficult to identify that we are experiencing a situation of violence because we don't want to identify with that social imaginary about the victim. So uh, through Photo Voice, uh, participants or students have to reflect about how, mm, about what uh, gender-related violence is for them. And 
through this process, through this collect, through these individual reflections, they analyze uh, deeply how uh, they are crossing uh, by sexual and gender-related violence, and also in the sharing, sharing the per the different perspectives and experience, uh, well, invites them to uh, have a bigger knowledge about how this violence uh, work. Uh, in their lives. Another important thing, going uh, well, photo boys have a, a very important uh, part, uh, and is that their reflections have to go uh, and have to incidence politically in other spaces. So it's oriented to social action. So uh, a, a photo boys allows a dialogue. Uh, to be established with other agents inside and outside the classroom settings. So the knowledge goes uh, growing and growing and growing uh, in the line with the concept of diffraction from Donna Haraway. Finally, uh, well, in line with uh, the, th the, the diffraction uh, orientation, we are in, a, in a, an educational space, so we have to go. Uh, we have to uh, train students uh, to know how to face a situation of violence in their professional futures. So through Photo Voice, we favor a commitment to fight against uh, all typologies of sexual and gender-related violence in different contexts. And. That's everything. Thank you so much for your atten attention. I invite you to keep watching our, our videos. And thank you so much. Bye-bye.